everybody, what's going on? It's Yuri with GT Nuts Program. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking about my son's bike, um, Akira's bike, which is the 2021 GT Grunge. Um, this is in the 20 inch wheel option. Uh, GT offers the Grunge in, I believe, uh, a 20 inch wheel size, a 16 and a 12 inch. So um, this is the one that does not have the train, that does not include the training wheels at all. Um, it's a pretty cool bike. Uh, you know, my son's inseam is about 20 inches, so that seat is slammed all the way down, and he's able to keep his feet sort of flat um, on the ground. So, uh, if that should give you kind of any idea what we're talking about, but let's go over the bike um, front to back. Some stuff actually I've changed a little bit um, on here. So, uh, the bike I assembled myself. Uh, you can this bike can be had for roughly about 250 bucks uh, or actually 265 according to gt's um us website anyway um it comes with a rear view brake here uh and also comes with a coaster brake um at first you know like i thought it was a little bit ridiculous to have a coaster brake but started to realize that which is down here right you back pedal um you know for my kid who's just still trying to find his uh develop his skill into riding a bike um he couldn't reach the lever for a while um he wasn't used to it so the coaster brake is a nice option for those kids like my son who aren't yet fully um comfortable yet like using like a, a brake lever and it, it uses a v-brake uh here um, the cable's frayed, that's my fault. Uh, anyway, uh, other cool, real neat tidy parts here. It's, uh, it's, it is a threaded headset. It's a one inch threaded headset. Uh, it usually, originally came, um, hang on. With these grips, they're not lock-ons, you know, but they're, they actually feel pretty good, um, when they're on the bike, but, um, my kid wanted to customize his bike a little bit, so I had some spare, of course, as a lot of you watch my bike checks, um, race face half Nelson grips that really snut, like, uh, f barely fit on here because it really pushes this brake lever right when it's starting to curve, but the handlebar, obviously, um, is like a 22, roughly about a 22.4, um, and of course, you know, barely enough room to fit a, a cool little bell, and so... Uh, other cool parts is it comes with the a GT saddle. Uh, you know, my son can sit on this for, uh, you know, he can ride and hang out for like over an hour pedaling this thing. Um, it is an okay climber. You know, my son does not ride so much that he's, you know, um, like he doesn't ride every single day. Like probably like a weekend warrior at this point. So he's still trying to get the develop the conditioning to even just do minor climbs but this is an upgrade from his old little sc bike that i think was rocking 12 inch wheels um it is uh it, this bike does come in two different colors um for the 20 inch anyway i think it's across the board for even the 16 and 12 um which is this is called the team colors don't worry like hopefully people aren't freaking out that and like this is not a team bike it, it's it's not called a team edition crunch it's just basically a uh the team colors anyway which is blue and yellow uh i think if you're looking for a different set of colors you can look for um the girls bike which is a siren which is i think i want to say is identical to this bike except in colorway so uh also i should say gt's done some kind of interesting things um i'll put a link to their video uh because you know it, it, their marketing ad points it out probably better than i can explain maybe but uh the gt uses a legit fit system so on the legit fit if you're looking at it the uh cranks are uh narrower um or i shouldn't say narrower the bottom bracket shell and the pedals the pedal width like is a like closed in a little narrower than you know most regular kids bikes i guess and uh, the other thing that they've done is they've moved the bottom bracket which i could kind of see like if we're doing a straight line down and over 
it's a little further forward and it's just for ergonomics um gt says and another thing that they've also done is uh they've started out this bike this is pretty fully covered like i remember if anybody remembers back in the day you know they there was <laughs> there were the metal ones or something and then you'd stick it if, if you're too curious and uh you didn't know any better like me you know you put your hand in there and you'd, you'd cut off half your fingernail but um this one's fully enclosed it's a nice safe bike um i can't imagine when you're pedaling shoelaces or anything getting caught in here this is pretty nice uh you know it, it's really hard um i can't imagine much catching on this in terms of what's hanging out on your kid's shoe or whatever it's so even if it slips you know i don't think they're gonna heel strike into this probably my uh, I, i'm gonna don't worry i will replace this cable <laughs> and, and and crimp cap it um and so uh you know there isn't too much in the way of like you know uh getting their anything caught up in reverse spokes from this part um it does come these uh fenders um actually are like like aluminum um or some form of alloy you know they're i th i was kind of expecting them to be plastic but um they are metal and uh you know like it is be be careful how you lean them uh sometimes they it is possible like obviously if you're leaning against like a bunch of bikes like mine um then you end up like bending them but the nice part is then you can just kind of tweak them back and it's fine uh no quick release these are all bolts obviously uh here and the tire size here it's a nice 20 inch it's a good tread pattern i like it you know like uh my son's been riding it in the wet on pavement uh and it, it's held up it does have straighter valve um uh wheel or compatible wheels i think you know um in terms of ride quality my son really enjoys it if you've seen the shredded and it's not even shredded it's just like my kid riding a bike and <laughs> you know um the seat post chair goes up pretty tall um believe it or not i've ridden it around and so i i know it's not it it rides pretty it's a pretty durable bike um you know and i weigh about 200 some pounds so uh and i was able to ride this kind of comfortably which is almost like this would be kind of the most cool beer peddler around but uh it is a cool bike um i would check it out uh you know if you like see if your stores have them i know they they've sold out at a few of like the dick sporting goods stores um so it's cool i was able to get one for um Akira. but anyway if you have any other questions uh well and yeah this my son's been riding this bike for a few months now in in the winter and uh it's held up uh pretty well it's not like my son's going off any like drops of or you know like i don't know if back in the day anybody remembers like it's not like my son's setting up milk crates and jumping them on off of two by fours so um for just pedaling around like it's a commuter a kid's commuter bike it's it's uh held up pretty well um it's in pretty good shape i haven't had really any issues adjusting or anything coming loose i think if you're thinking about getting one of these bikes and your mechanical acumen isn't that great um have a professional shop do it a bike shop do it that way you're squared away and obviously your kid's not riding on anything sketchy um but if you are mechanically inclined um you know i got this box and i had to assemble it myself so uh you'd have to put the fenders on but like you have to put the i had to assemble i had to assemble the fenders um and also i should have said sorry uh it comes with a number plate but it is a little bit difficult to attach um it rattled loose a few times that's the one thing i will say so it doesn't it comes with a number plate but this little plastic piece is actually pretty nice it's less in the way the number plates like in the theme of bmx is pretty cool but how it fits is not like a regular bmx plate so just be mindful of that it's a it's a cool you know attempt uh nonetheless but other than that yeah uh this is the 2021 gt grunge if you have any questions of course hit me up i'm glad to answer them you know a little bit different because you know mostly talk about like uh an adult bike but i know a lot of you are probably trying to look for a kid's bike so check out check them out uh gt makes a few different options for the bike i'll put a comment or i mean i'll put the link for their legit fit um video and hopefully you'll make it'll make sense to like a lot of 
you watching this and uh, but yeah, that is it, and uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing some other stuff. It's just, again, the weather in the Pacific Northwest, like, the one day, the one day out of like five months it doesn't rain, I don't know. Anyway, uh, take care. Um, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.